What's up everyone? Today we'll be installing this Rockville Marine Amp along with these Kenwood Marine Speakers in my 97 Sea Ray. This Rockville Amp came with a kit that should have everything we need, so let's get started. All right, so just like with the battery switch installation, I've drawn a simple diagram here on how we'll be wiring everything up. So we've got the battery down here. We've got a dedicated eight gauge cable going up to the amp. The amp will have another eight gauge cable going to the negative bus bar that's up front with the accessories already has a cable running to the negative on the battery. We will have three cables going to the stereo. We'll have the left and right RCA cables. And then we'll also have the remote cable that turns the amp on and off. And then we'll have, of course, the speakers over here. The first thing we'll be doing here is running this battery cable from the front console here down the side and then back through here, back to the battery compartment. This Rockville amp kit came with this nice eight gauge cable with the last several feet braided. And so that'll help protect it when going back here behind the engine into the battery compartment. Before we go any further, I just thought I'd show you guys how I'm going to install this inline amp fuse. And so this side here will be going into the positive out of the battery switch and the amp fuse is supposed to go as close to the battery or battery switch as possible. And so what I'll be doing is mounting this to the sidewall and cutting this cable here and then passing it through this 100 amp fuse here. So I'll go ahead and get that done now and just show you guys what that looks like. All right guys, we've got the power cable wired all the way from the front console all the way to the back of the boat. So I'll show you guys what that looks like. Now that we've got the positive power cable ran, it's time to start installing the actual amp in the front of the boat under the console. So what we've got here is what came in the kit. From left to right, we have the negative power cable we have some speaker wire this boat was already ran for speakers and it looks good so i won't be using this speaker wire i'll just keep it aside we've got a really long rca cable i won't need that much length because the amp is only a few feet from my stereo head unit but i'll go ahead and use this anyways if i run into any issues i'll swap it out with another one uh, down on the bottom left here we have the remote wire that'll run from the amp to the stereo head unit, which controls when the amp is on or off. And then the bottom right here, we have just a pack of butt connectors and some other terminals to get everything else connected. Let's get started. All right, so under the steering wheel console, there's just a ton of room. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the amp mounted right here. And then I'll most likely be installing a sub at a later date and it'll fit just nicely right behind there. One thing I would definitely recommend doing if you're going to be placing the amp in somewhat of a hard to reach place is actually getting everything connected to the amp before finally mounting it. So I've went ahead and unmounted it. I'm going to get the power cables, the remote cable and the speaker cables all connected before I go ahead and mount it back up. Okay, so we've gotten everything connected. The remote wire, I was able to look up my stereo head unit, the manual online, and I was able to find which wire this connected to, which was a blue and white wire labeled PCONT. 
So I got that connected up there and we should be good to go. So now what we're going to do is swap out these old speakers that are actually blown. So I can't really do a sound comparison to before and after the amp, but I'll go ahead and get these new speakers installed and then we'll go ahead and test the amp. So we've got the speakers connected. I haven't screwed them in yet because I'm gonna make sure they sound good before getting them screwed in there. So let's go ahead and test the amp. So I've also got the positive cable connected here to the battery switch. So we're gonna go ahead and turn the switch on to turn the stereo and the amp on. Everything sounded awesome, so we're gonna go ahead and get the amp mounted back up under here under the console. All right, so I will be doing some additional cable cleanup with all of the wiring for my boat up here under the console, and so I'm gonna hold off on finalizing with zip ties and stuff for the cables going into the amp but I do have it mounted and this is essentially what it's gonna look like. Thanks for watching guys. This was another tough one to film. So I hope you guys were able to see enough for it to be helpful for you guys. One thing I'd like to add on here is that I did turn the amp level up to about halfway to where it sounded the best. So I did that before we did the, the sound testing. You guys will have to adjust the amp to, to where you'd like it to be. When I add the sub at a later on a later video, I'll have to adjust the volume for that one as well, just so that it's getting the right amount of power to sound its best. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. I'll be posting the video where I add the sub up here in the next couple weeks. Mm -hmm.